It's your girl Colors and you are watching All Eyes on the Isaacs and here I am back yet again in a different location with another baby update. Now I know it has been a couple of months since I actually did a baby update and I think my last one was around seven months. And I was thinking about doing one at eight months and I was like nothing's really changed so there's really no point. And then nine months I was going to do one but it totally slipped me. So here we are. We are doing the 10 month update. I will give you a couple of uh, updates as far as what happened since her seven month or her major milestones and things things like that uh fair warning i apologize if the lighting keep going up and down i am by a giant window and this is the best location i can actually film something like this because as you can see baby girl is now very mobile and she is not gonna deal with me holding her the whole time that is not what she wants that is not what's happening in life this is you know her all day long so let's go ahead and jump right into it so as you can see now baby girl definitely knows how to sit up and move around now she started really hey <laughs> she started really doing this maybe about almost at her nine months she started like sitting up and then uh she was still actually doing her little fireman crawl thing up until about maybe a week ago honestly she definitely knows how to get around as you can see we were actually out of town with uh her grandmama the christmas holidays and she all of a sudden started using both her knees and i was really shocked by that y'all see her she is watching um sesame street on silent so that is probably the biggest thing and um how fast she's honestly starting to move around also i apologize if this video is all over the place i am battling a 10 month old almost 11 months at this point two weeks she'll be 11 months Okay, now that that's done. But yeah, she is extremely independent. She doesn't even like help with a lot of things. Like when it comes to feeding her, she doesn't like help. Uh, but that has been a kind of an ongoing thing with her ever since she was like two, two or three months old. She didn't even like me feeding her the bottle. She wanted to feed herself, but she didn't even know how to hold her own bottle. And that is pretty much the same thing now. Like she definitely, wants to pick up the food herself which is very messy but i know that it's kind of you kind of gotta let them be messy but we don't want them to be messy at the same time don't you spit up okay she making noise we just started um practicing with sippy cups for her she does know how to drink out of a straw um she is pretty good at that she just not good at not squeezing out the juices and stuff now that we are actually in the midst of looking for daycares and stuff like that for both of the girls we have noticed uh, when it comes to the one and two year olds they don't really give them bottles usually around 12 months is usually um when you slowly stop the bottles anyway but with Nala, she definitely likes to have her bottles at night, um, nap time and stuff like that. And we never really was gone ho about getting rid of them. So we noticed that they kind of even stopped that at one. We just making sure that we are more on them about getting to sippy cups instead of bottles. So that is kind of a new phase. Speaking of bottles, she's still drinking about five ounces, maybe about four times a day uh she still wakes up at least once in the middle of the night so we do give her a bottle when she's going to sleep and a bottle in the middle of the night so it has to be more than that man because that's two at night maybe about five probably the biggest milestone with that is that she learned how to hold up her bottle up high while she's sitting up is she still doing it she was just doing it let me see if i can get her to do it 
bomb. That's my girl. That's my girl. You show those people. But she's learned how to actually not lay down and drink her milk. So that is wonderful. She does drink water too, but you know, of course, they want their milk at the same time. Um, what else? I'm kind of freestyling at this point. <laughs> nap time, she takes one nap a day. And the reason for that is, is that she's been watching Nala. And it seems like even when we try to put her down for two naps around that time, she would not want to sleep at all. So we figured out a recipe that seems to work and it works well for our family. And it is both girls get one nap a day around 12, 1230, maybe even one. And they get, they typically sleep like two hours and then they stay up to like 7, 730 and then we put them down. Uh, around six, giving them a bath, you know, that whole nine. And that seems to work really good for us too because then we get to get rest and get stuff done around the house, even though it sucks because most of the thing we need to do around the house is in our rooms and our sleep. But yeah, that seems to be the recipe that works because when we were doing the two nap thing, what would happen is she would stay up until like five or six and be sleepy. So then they'll sleep until like seven. Then we have to feed them, wake them up. Up, and then they will actually go down to like 9, 9.30. So we just said scratch that, go ahead and put them down around noon and then just let them sleep however long they wanna sleep and then we'll put them down around 7, 7.30. So yeah, that is what we got going on with that. She is definitely teething. She has about, roughly about four teeth coming in right now. I don't know if by the time I post this video, I can really show you, cause she probably, I don't wanna take the thing off the tripod. It, it, let's see if I can get her to smell. Yeah. Yeah, baby. Yeah, you see, she getting her bottom teeth in. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Tickle, tickle. Tickle, tickle. But yeah, she actually has like four bottom teeth now, which is really weird because I used to see her cute little gummy smile. And now she's getting teeth and her two top teeth are coming down. So she's going to officially have what's that six, six teeth, which I'm like oh, about time because I really thought she was going to get teeth sooner than this, but literally maybe in the last couple of days she got teeth. Kid you not. So, uh, it's been a lot of taking Tylenol the last couple of nights because she has been going through it. Very different from Nala's teething experience and gaining tea. She loves climbing all over the place. As you can see, she loves climbing me, all kind of things. I am thinking about getting her a little pickler triangle thing, one that's big enough for Nala and her so they can have like an inside little shindig situation. Hopefully that comes soon, but them things like three, four hundred dollars and I'm just like, she has outgrown a lot of her toys as far as like her jumper, her little favorite round, round you go uh, table situation. She has outgrown her extra saucer, all those like the about eight month toys. She's outgrown all of them. So we are about to sell them off and stuff like that because we have no need and give the ones that we can't sell. She has a favorite show, even though she likes watching the Sesame Street, she is liking Blue's Clues, which is nostalgic for me because I used to like Blue's Clues growing up. So that is her favorite television show. Um, she did recently start using a walker, um, but I think we're gonna end up returning it because she is really tall. If you don't remember from my last update, she is in roughly 94 percentile. And this reminds me, I wanna go with her right quick because I am gonna forget this. Hold on. She is 23.4 pounds. That is crazy, <laughs> which it makes sense because she is solid. Let me tell you, she feels even heavier than Nala, and I know Nala is like a good 40 pounds, but Jesus, this girl is heavy. Even when it comes to a carrier, I do it, but let me tell you, it is not comfortable carrying her in a carrier because she is solid. Both of them are solid. Every time somebody like picks them up, they be like, God. They are seriously heavy. And I have picked up uh, babies that are around their weight, 
and it doesn't feel the same. And that mask they have, they definitely get that from me. They definitely get that from me because I am the same way I, I am solid and that's the reason why I weigh so much more than I actually look because I'm like 208 pounds. So. When it comes to her clothes also, she is in 18 month clothes. But it's getting to the point to where I won't even, I don't, I think we're gonna stop buying 18 month clothes. It depends, cause you know Carter's is really big for sizes and stuff like that. So, but 18, maybe 18 to 24 months is probably what we're gonna be buying really soon, like these babies. She is still in size four diapers. Um, I think her and Nala both is gonna like finish in size four. Maybe, maybe she might go in size five. And, that, and if she does, it's really because of her stomach. But Nala's still in size four, so they actually still wear the same diapers. She is in around four or five size shoe. We got her first actual walking shoes, and that seems to fit very well. She actually just started signing more recently. Let's see if I can get her to do it. Can you say more? She's not. More? More? She does do it, but typically when she's eating. And it'd be random though. It'd be very random, so. Or is it random? Who knows? Uh, she started eating more solid foods. Um, she officially doesn't really like baby food anymore. I be even trying to, she does like like applesauce, like the pouches and stuff. But that's about it. Like, so, uh, we try to feed her baby food. She ain't really with it. She wants food, she see you eat, and she wants every part of it. Even if she can't eat it, she wanna eat it. So, she still does choke, but we started buying those little baby plate things matter of fact let me go grab one of those as well i definitely did not come to that i will honestly recommend this too if you have kids that can eat it but we started buying these little 12 month little food things these little food things like this that comes at Walmart, they're about, they're less than $2, I know that. But this is cheese ravioli and a side of mixed vegetables. And this is like rice and chicken and stuff like that. These things are so convenient because it takes like 30 seconds to heat up. Is it like 30 seconds? Yeah, 30 seconds. They take like 30 seconds to heat up. It takes the of uh, decision making out of figure out what they're gonna actually eat. Uh, these are better for lunches or when you're traveling, when you're going over somebody's house. Just throw this, throw this in the bag. This is even good for Nala. Uh, if we are going to somebody's house, it's just like, we don't want to um, decide what we'll worry about what they're gonna eat. We can throw this in our bag and bring our travel booster seat and feed them this. Just in case you are curious, I will open up one to see what it looks like. And it just looks like a simple heat up package thing like that. And it's plenty of food, plenty. Also her favorite snack is these puffs. We typically get these from uh, Sam's Club. They are like $13 for an eight pack. Uh, she loves these. We put this in her car seat. Uh, we have officially put her into a convertible car seat. I think uh, we did film that, so if we did, we're gonna film that really soon. Also, we plan on turning Nala's seat face forward since now that she's over 40 pounds. So, but yeah, we love to give her these ones and specifically the one that's a little bit less cheesy in her car seat because she knows how to actually um grab her food for herself and it beats trying to give her a bottle while in the car because you know i got a small car y'all so yeah this is actually one of her favorite snacks outside of just plain goldfish now if you guys are looking for like cheap alternative options just look for anything that dissolves easily like i said goldfish is definitely one of those items as well as uh cheerios Cheerios is a good option for that. Oh, I don't know if I finished talking about this, but with the Walker thing, she has outgrown that. Um, she never really was able to fit in it really good because she was really tall and it makes her do like a dolphin pose. If you haven't seen my 
walker video please check that out and you would kind of know more of what i'm t referring to but now like i said we're gonna definitely like return it because now that she is more mobile i don't really think that she actually needs it oh recently i had to drop her crib because now that she knows how to now that she knows how to sit up, now she is to the point to where her, the crib head is like here to her, so I had to drop it. But the crazy thing is, I recently dropped it maybe about a week ago, and I have to actually drop it again. Also because she learned how to actually stand up on stuff now. Her favorite toy is actually this one. I want y'all to see this though. Let's see if I can get her to move. This is actually her favorite toy. Can you put it in there? And she hits it in. Sometimes she likes to pick it up or to push it down. But this is what she does. Her and Nala both love to do this. She'll pick up the ball and put it in here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good job. Her and Nala both will do that for a while. So that is her favorite toy right now. Along with still this, still this one is one of her favorite. And the last thing I'm gonna talk about is actually her relationship with her sister. She absolutely loves her sister. She loves her sister's attention. Her sister makes her very curious and now her sister doesn't always want her attention back, but you know, her sister's young too, so she's gonna have her moments. Um, they're both learning about sharing and everything like that. Um, but because her sister is around, it makes her a little bit more uh, progressive in her development stage just because of that. And that's my baby. Right now, one of the things we're gonna start working on is her with the hand walker or the little sharpener cart. So that is definitely the next thing that we are gonna be working on. But she's extremely curious and a little diva for sure. But we love our little no Ellie Ellie. Yeah, yeah, we love our little Noelle don't we so we are gonna go ahead and get out of here because we got a little play date to get to i believe that is all if you have any more questions please comment down below hopefully this video wasn't too all over the place but we definitely love you guys and hopefully we'll see you at the next update which will probably be at her one year update so definitely love you guys we'll see you next video